Hello, oh, good, sorry. Good morning and welcome to Farm Space. And uh, we've got, got the pleasure of starting with Char chatting with Charlie Gold. And we're going to talk about putting a quality club auction together. That's one thing that's always been difficult for many a farmer, uh, making sure that everybody bring their part when they ha host a club auction. I know for a fact that they, that's something they've discussed in the last few meetings and they're making sure that quality comes your way. I'm going to ask Charlie how he sees it and what they did as a club to ensure quality comes to you. Charlie, good morning. How are you doing? Morning, Tinas. Very well, thanks. How are you? Oh, I'm great, thank you. Uh, Charlie, ha having a club auction, uh, allowing eight, nine or ten guys selling together, it's always a challenge. There's always different ideas and thinking. Um, some of these guys have their own production sales. Um, and making sure you're getting quality at an auction like this, and it's not a place where people just go and throw away the animals they can't, that don't want to sell um, at the production sales. Uh, is sometimes is a challenge. What did you guys do to ensure that quality is coming to Daniel's Rose today and the year after that and the year after that? Um, well, b based on what, what we did last year, um, we, we've learned uh, that the market is looking for, for top quality animals. Um, we, we had some very good animals last year, but um, didn't quite get the prices we expected. And we had a rethink and uh, have just uh, gone, gone through our herds and, and you can see from, from the quality this year that uh, there's definitely a, a, a big improvement. Um, the, the guys have got some very nice animals coming through, the, 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 the breeders are really taking strides forward uh, now and it's, it's evident in the quality of the animals that are here today I think. Um, when, when we look at the animals and the quality that's here, I know uh, Mario's went past most of the farms, uh, your uh, breed director, um, making sure that what you guys are putting together, does it help to have a, a breed director or a breed advisor of his quality helping a club along, making sure that whatever you pick yeah. is the standard that, that the drought master farmer, this commercial guy, as well as the stud guy, wants to see at an auction? Yeah, it, it definitely helps. Um, uh, someone like Marius, who's uh, no, you know knows his he knows his animals. Um, he, he goes around all the different breeders, so he's got a good idea of what's what's out there countrywide. Um, and it's it's just fantastic to have have his input and, and advice on what sort of animals to to pick for a sale like like this one here at Daniel's Rest. Mm. You touched on it a little in your in, in the first answer where you said the market is is almost I want to say stricter, um, but people these days they they know what they buy. It seems like the farmer today is the commercial farmer is better educated. The bulls they want to buy, the, what they're looking for, they know what they're looking for, mm. and there's just no place in the stud market these days for second best at a sale. No, I think that's quite true. Um, you can't pull the wool over many people's eyes these days. Everyone's got a good eye for a quality animal, um, and that's what we're striding towards uh, providing for, for the, uh, especially the commercial buyer. Um, I, I think this year we've got a much uh, better selection of animals uh, for the buyers, and um, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. But um, yeah, th th there's, no, there's no fooling the market uh, today everybody's got uh, knows what they want for for their herd and um, I think if you come here today you'll you'll find something for for your herd yeah the margins of in the, in our in the, within the economy of, of cattle farming is becoming smaller and tighter every year um, we had a bad raining season in the eastern part of the country of most of the part of the eastern part of the country most of the guys are actually struggling uh, to to get the yields they want of their field uh, those prices normally goes through to our cattle prices. We see that every year. It, it influences influence the feedlot. It influences the way um, the guys buy at an auction. Um, but and and that is what makes quality auctions just go year in and year out. Yeah, they they might get lower prices, but they keep going. They keep getting the the, guy, the buyers keep coming back. And that's what you're trying to set down here is to make sure that you create buyers that know when they come to the Eastern Route Master Club, they get quality people here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that the prices will come. Um, if, if you look at, uh, for example, maize prices this year, there's definitely a shortfall in, in the amount produced. The, the prices haven't really reflected that yet, but I think it's going to happen. Um, and, and it will come through to, to the beef prices. So, um, yeah, 
I, I, I think as long as we're on an upward trend year on year, then um, normally uh, the guys will be happy. Mm. Last thing, uh, I walked through uh, from, I think it's about 19 bulls here. From the 19 bulls, I can say there's probably about five stat, five stat size that you might consider to be stat size. Um, and that's nice to see at, at such an auction saying, there's about yes, some real, real quality, something that you could see someone sell at a national auction, at, a, at their production auction. And that is what you want to see, the quality, the uniformity within one club. And that's probably what you guys are striving for as well. Oh, absolutely. There's, there's always going to be a few stud buyers uh, here that are looking for animals. Um, we, we're trying to uh, satisfy uh, all corners of the market, um, but predominantly commercial buyers. But yeah, definitely there's some very nice bulls here uh, for the stud breeders to, to have a look at. Um, so yeah, we, we, as I say, strive to keep everybody happy. Or commercial guy just looking to go because listen, I want to pick up my herd. I mean, want to, want to keep heifers back. this quality, and the best yes. way to do it is that with yeah. a stud bull, and that's what the mm. stud market should actually be doing. Yes, is helping those guys making sure that whatever they hold back is something they can take forward. That's is exactly right. Yeah. Charlie, thanks for talking to us. Good luck with the auction. I think the animals are looking thanks, great. Uh, great seeing you guys working well together. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. There we Charlie Gold. Yes, it's been a tough season this year, but quality always have a price. And uh, if you can come down here to Daniel's Risk, otherwise, Meerkat Online Auctions, just contact them. You can bid online. Otherwise, OVK's here. Just phone them, and they can help you get the bull or animal that you need to make sure you go forward in your cattle farming operation. Until next time. Cheers.